According to Jost Capito, basically the boss of the Ford RS department, the car you are looking at here is, and I quote, a very serious machine with the performance, traction and precision to match far more exotic sports cars. The RS badge is not something we treat lightly and I believe this car proves it, he says. Only one place to go with a serious car like that, a serious road. Welcome to the RN85, the route to Napoleon. Probably the best driving road, certainly in France, possibly in Europe. There are no prizes for guessing what happens next. so much to this car, it's almost difficult to know where to start. The engine, it's still a 2.5 litre 5, but it's got a new turbo, a new exhaust, all sorts of tweaks inside to make it stronger and more powerful. It's got 300 horsepower and 324 pounds feet of torque. That's astonishing because it's still front wheel drive. The, the front suspension is so technical, I'm not gonna go into it here. It's got something called a Revo knuckle, basically, it means it doesn't talk to it. That's what they say, that's what I say. I've driven it, it doesn't talk to it. It's amazing. Bigger brakes, big deep side skirts to make it look the part, and it certainly does that on the road. Particularly when you get around here at the back. I mean, this huge great diffuser and the exhaust pipes. You could climb into one of those exhaust pipes, they're so big. Same with the spoiler, it's outrageous. I love it, it's fantastic. Right, it's been an awful long time coming, this car. So it's gonna to have to be very, very special. Unless you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. But you know what? I am absolutely loving this thing. It is quite incredible for a front wheel drive car. It's quite incredible for, for any kind of car. I think the most impressive bit of all is what they've managed to do with the front suspension. It just doesn't understeer at all. It puts its power down so neatly only in first gear do you get any wheel spin if you turn the traction control system off. Put it in second, come out of a second gear hairpin, and there's just traction, and it goes, and there is no torque to it. I don't understand fully how they do it, or how the car does it, but it does it. The other thing is, it's really, really fast in a straight line. The performance figures that Ford give say it does 0-62 to in 5.9 seconds, with 0-100 to in around about 14. Now, I know that sounds quick, but believe me, in reality, this thing feels a lot quicker than that. It is so rapid through the gears, particularly in fourth, fifth and sixth. And that's because it's got so much torque. What else do we like about it? The steering. You would expect, considering how much torque, how much power there is, you'd expect it to be thrown all over the place. You'd expect it to weave up the road like a ball of string. It just doesn't happen. You plant the throttle, you steer towards an apex, you go. Simple as that. The ride is amazingly comfortable as well. You look at the exterior of this thing and you see all the wings and the spoilers and the huge, great 19-inch wheels. And you'd expect to be a fillings removed on a slightly lumpy road, but again, it just doesn't happen. It's very, very usable every day. It's not a kind of raw-edged, over-the-top, toy it's not you can use this thing every day and you get real pleasure out of using it every day but it would not be a pain in the ass to use every day that's quite a recipe to get right actually not so sure about the gear change there's nothing specifically wrong with it but it just feels like a kind of normal ordinary cars gear change it doesn't have that nice kind of click click precision that you kind of expect so another thing i love about this car the noise it makes Listen. Five cylinders. Turbocharged, just like the ST24. But they've really tuned up the engine noise, not the exhaust, the engine more than anything, to make it sound much more aggressive than the ST. 
So now you're thinking that all this costs, what, sort of 35, 40,000 pounds? No. 24,995 pounds they want for this car. I know there's an economic chill at the moment. You can probably see the snow around us, which is not really adding to the fun. But you have to say that a 25 grand, this much performance, in this desirable a car that's so usable, I just can't think of anything that beats it.